welcome to the Crafty Diamond. My name is Debbie, and welcome to day 23 countdown to the holidays. We are getting so close to Christmas, and I have had so much fun being with you every day on this journey to our countdown. And today I am going to unbox a diamond painting that I've gotten a few weeks ago, and I cannot wait to open it. I want to dive into it as quickly as possible and to get this one done. This will definitely be framed or that's my thought process anyway. I've also completed day 23 of my advent calendar so I'm going to show you that as well. But this unboxing is from Calming Canvas Designs and when Joy reached out to me, we've been talking um, quite a bit well back and forth on email and I mentioned that I had two dogs and she asked me what my dog breed was and so I told her and she um, was able to get two paintings that were of Collies. Now I have one Collie and one Shipu and I have a black and white Collie. My Sable and white Collie passed away a few years ago and I had to get that one as well. So you will see that one at a later date, but I wanted to unbox this one. I love the stained glass look. She has several stained glass paintings in her shop, and I did pay for this, um, but I am an affiliate with Calming Canvas Design, so if you would like a discount on their, in their shop, then I will put that below underneath the description. Okay, I went ahead and opened this just so you won't have to deal with all the crinkling. And this is the, here is the thumbnail here of the collie, of the border collie. There are 64 colors in this canvas. And we do have a sticker sheet, and the sticker sheet is already individually cut, which is really nice. It does give you the quantity over here. I don't need that, and that's not part of the sticker. We do have the number, the symbol, and the DMC, and I really don't need the number either, but I'll just keep that on there. Um, some of the symbols are a little different um, than what I am used to, but I'm also seeing those very similar symbols that are on my diamond painting Deutschland, so I shouldn't have any problem, but I think this is gonna be really pretty. It's only a 40 by 40, which is great because I don't have very many small ones, and this will be really nice to work on in between some of my really large ones that I plan on doing next year. I do like how she um, has Calming Serenity One Diamond at a Time, and then this says Calming Canvas Designs. I will use this and put it in my logbook. This kit also comes with release paper if you like to use that. And you would put this side, the shiny side here, you put that down. And if I do decide to use these, I will cut them up. More than likely, I won't use those, but I will put them up and use those for a future kit. We do get a really good size of baggies if you like to work out of baggies or you like to just save your drills. We have some really pretty pink washi. I'm not sure if I'll use that washi for this one or another one because I don't know really what colors that is in here. Um, here is the toolkit. You do have your choice of round or square. I did get square. And also, if you want to add extra special drills to it, you can. Otherwise, they do not come with any ABs. I opted not to get any for this one. If I decide that I want to use some ABs, and that is Aurora Borealis, which has a special coating on the drills, gives it a little more of a shine and shimmer. And if I decide that I want to, I have plenty that I can use because of all the different colors that's in this kit. So for the tool kit, we do get a pen with a single placer on one end, 
that looks like a two placer on the other end. We do have two purple squishies on here. Um, we also get some tweezers that are the really stabby ones. Make sure you keep the cover on so you don't stab yourself. Um, we also have a little brush. If you need to brush your canvas, you can, or you can use it if you have some drills that's stuck in your tray. You can just use this little brush, brush it out, and um, it does work very nicely. And um, we have a MOSFA boat. I do save these. I don't really use them, but I donate them a lot of times um, to the kids ministry at church that um, is for special needs. And we have two plates of wax, also a cute cover minder. I've gotten a sunflower. We have two of these bags of drills. Now, I don't know for a fact, but I am pretty confident in saying that these are Ever Moment drills. And I love Ever Moment drills, but the only downside with Ever Moment is the way that the manufacturer does their drills or um, they actually how um, they have the drills in bags is that instead of having one large bag of drills, you have several smaller ones. So let me show you what I mean. I'll get this in here, I won't get them back out, but that's okay. Like instead of having one small bag of 745, we have four, or one bag of 745, we have four of these. And that's how a lot of theirs are. And they're not in order by DMC. I'm honestly not sure how they do theirs, but we do have some really pretty colors in here. I'm not going through all these colors, but because it's stained glass, you're going to have a variety of colors. I will be kitting this one up shortly on my channel. So if you have not subscribed, you may want to click on that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you can see when I kit this up. But there's gonna be all kinds of colors in here because, and a lot of bright colors, because it is a stained glass look. Here's a pink. And I could use that pink washi. I use a washi to go around the edges. That pink washi would look pretty with this pink. So I may do that. We do have two bags here and it does say two of two and one of two on this one. And it gives us the number, the SKU number that is on the canvas. And so that way, if you do not keep your drills with your canvas, you can easily see what canvas that it goes to. And again, I don't know if these are ever moment drills. It's just, that's how ever moment tends to bag theirs. And I have opened and started on one calming canvas design. It is in my whips or work in process that I'm going to complete throughout the year for 2024. This is gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see because it is this stained glass look. There's a lot going on here, but you can see the outline of the border collie and you can also um, see the, the nose, there's the mouth and of course the ears and then behind it is this stained glass look. We can also see over here. So it's gonna be, I think, absolutely gorgeous. And I just, I love collies. I think that this is going to definitely be one that I'm going to frame and hang up in my craft room. The artist is Nadia Theron Art, and it does say commoncanvasdesigns.com on here. It gives you the schematic on the right side if you like to look at the color list on the, the actual canvas itself. I don't, but if you want to, it's on this side. It's not on the left side but it is on the right side. And the sticky is really good on here, if you can hear that. And because it's a border collie, border collies are typically the black and white. The sable and white are more like your lassie um, type of collies. But I want to do this for Molly. So I um, need to find another one that's going to resemble either a poodle or a Shih Tzu. So that will be my next one that I'm going to ask her if she can get or whenever um, they come out. The outlining here on both sides, there is I think three or four rows here 
with the hearts that's all going to be in black and then if you it's gonna be hard for you to see but all of this through here is going to be black on the collie and I do not like black 310s I thought I could outline the collie but I'm not gonna do that because I do not like 310s um, for the ABs but I might end up with the nose and if it does have some whiskers here I might do the whiskers because they're going to be in white. I may use some of my ABs that I have left over from the kit that I'm working on now that's white and put the ABs in the dog's ears or the dog's um, dog snout and then also throughout um, the dog's this part here that's white. I might do that. I don't know yet. I just have to get started with it and decide. With the stained glass, I don't think I'm going to add any ABs with that. I think it may just be a little overkill. And I may not even add anything to the dog. I may just go straight with this. It may not even need anything. But I will be working on this shortly. I definitely want to get this kitted up. And I may even work on this in between when I have finished my painting I'm working on now and start on this one. Because I can't wait to get started on this. And then I want to do the other one as well. But I do have some other paintings that I need to get to the first of the year um, for a project that I want to work on. And I will let you guys in on that in January. Thanks so much for joining me today for this part. Now I'm going to clean this up and I, then I'm going to get my advent calendar out. But if you have not checked out Common Canvas Designs, I highly encourage you to do so. They are a new company and have several diamond paintings, different types of diamond paintings to choose from. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we only have one left. It's kind of sad, but I'm kind of excited because now I have, I'll have a finish um, tomorrow. We finished the other half of this flower bouquet there. And I still can't decide which one's my favorite. I'm still leaning towards the butterfly, but I love the umbrella now too. So those are kind of in close contention, but really I love all of them. And I do believe I am going to, I need to straighten some of these drills, but I do need to look at this and decide what I'm going to do with it. It is designed to use as a calendar. So there's 12 doors here or 12 slots and you can use it for a calendar that you can purchase through Add More Zest or, and you would just cut through here. There's some really faint lines you can cut through, but I don't, I'm not going to do that because I don't use that type of a calendar anyway. And I just do not want to cut this. I was going to individually cut these, put these in a binder like I use for my Paint Gem Minis. But this is just too pretty and it looks too good together, to, I think, to cut up. So I'm thinking that I'm going to purchase a frame or I may even have this dry mounted. I haven't had anything dry mounted before through Hobby Lobby. So after the holidays, I may have this dry mounted and then I will put this in my craft room because this is a lot of the colors that I have. My, my craft room is mainly black and pink. And I think this would look really good in my craft room and it's small enough to where I have perfect place to put it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I will let you guys know and show you once that's done, but it'll definitely be done after the first of the year. But I just love how this has turned out. We have one left, which is the other half of this bike. I am going to do that tomorrow. And then I am going to give you my review of this and then we will be done and it will be Christmas Eve guys. And I'm finally getting closer. I think um, I feel more comfortable. My daughter is coming in later today, the 23rd. She was supposed to come in early this morning and they decided to stop last night instead of driving straight through, which I am really glad for that. I did not want them drive straight, straight through. But I do have still a lot of things to do today. I do have an errand to run, which I do not want to get out, but I don't have a choice. So anyway, let's now look at day 23 on my advent. And these are clips. These are huge clips. And what these are, let me make sure it's what I say. 
these are like towel clips or, or I have some that are much smaller, but on mine, you can see the huge difference. I'm going to flip this over and show you guys what I do with these. Mine are towel clips, beach towel clips, and I had these whenever we had a pool and I could clip them up and hang the beach towels so they would dry. But this one is a lot larger, so I don't know if that's exactly what this is, but these kind of clips are awesome, and I love how large this one is. You can clip your diamond painting on the section that you're not working on, and that way you can roll it up. It's clipped, and it's not in your lap or on the floor, and I love how large that these are because mine are small. But this is really large, and so these are going to definitely come in handy. I'm going to, and there's something on the back of this. I don't know what that is. I'm going to actually use an easel, I think, in my craft room as well. I use an easel at night. I think I'm going to start using an easel in my craft room and seeing if I like that better. Because sometimes I have to bend over and my back really bothers me after a long stretch of diamond painting. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you would click on that like button before you leave, that really does help to get my videos out there and circulated. And until tomorrow, happy diamond painting. Bye.